Hey guys, it's Army Tricks from Game Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you my personal plan, if you'd like to know, for a $350 gaming PC for Steam OS. So this is really a budget build, which is pretty obvious, and I've done this for you guys who are on a budget and would like to build a Steam machine. Now, Steam machines tend to be a lot cheaper to build than something like a gaming PC, as they don't require as good parts, as Linux tends to make your system perform a bit better on games than some of the other OS's like Windows or Mac. And this is pretty relevant to you guys of course, as you guys are probably gamers and you'd like to know how to do this. Now I decided to use this particular build because it is similar to my personal build, which I'll leave a link because I have a video of that in the description. And I've also got a link to the PC part picker list in the description to go check out the parts and order them if you like. So, starting with the processor. Well, for the processor, I've gone with the Sandy Bridge based Intel Core 2 Quad Q9300. I've gone for this because of its good clock rate of 2.5 GHz, which is great value for the price as it outperforms Core i3s and matches the performance of some Core i5s. In my personal build, I used a slightly ramped up 2.8 GHz Q9550 version, but we won't be using that in this build as its current market price is a bit too high. So along with this processor, I picked a custom CPU cooler, which you can use for some light overclocking if you wish to. I picked a Silent X Fluid Dynamic Bearing CPU cooler, which will run at a suitable 2400 RPM. We're also going to go for a compact design for this build. So I picked up a, a DDR3 Micro ATX Biostar LGA775 motherboard, which supports everything you would need for the Steam machine. It has two memory slots, space for four data storage disks, and onboard ethernet up to one gigabit. One thing I have realized though, while building my personal computer and Steam machine, is high RAM is just expensive and tends to mostly never get used, even when gaming. So I've gone for this build with a ADATA 4GB DDR3 1600MHz single memory stick to save money and save space for expansion on the motherboard. For the hard drive, as only games are going to be stored and not much more, I picked out a simple Western Digital 250GB 3.5 inch 7200RPM hard drive. This is sufficient space for your Steam OS and up to 80 or 90 very large games. Now for the graphics card. I thought about the games Valve Supply for Linux and other third party games on Steam that work on Linux. And I've come to the conclusion of buying an MSI NVIDIA GeForce GT430 1GB graphics card, which is sufficient to run Left 4 Dead 2 and the Counter Strike Source. TF2 and other games at 1080p at around the 60fps mark. So personally I think this will suffice for a graphics card. It's also pretty low profile so it will work well with our super compact design. As for the case, I've gone for a good looking but high quality Roseville FBM 01 Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This is compact enough to store in a cabinet under your TV so it's just like a console or stand under or on top of a desk without being in the way. Using such a small design also means we can move this around when going somewhere, so if you're going to someone's house or wherever you're going and you want to take it with you. And I've also predicted the machine will use no more than around 250 watts overall, so I've gone for a 300 watt Coolmax power supply. This leaves space in case you want to upgrade some of the parts later on which are a bit more power hungry, but the system itself is also efficient enough that it won't use a huge amount of energy, especially if you're the one paying the energy bill. But if you're not, this is also a good point to tell your parents to convince them to buy you this. So that's everything for this build. You don't need an optical drive as SteamOS can be installed from a USB, and a paid operating system isn't required as SteamOS is completely free. By the way, USB 3.0 is not supported on the motherboard before you ask. It is a USB 2.0. You can check out all of the parts I've supplied in the description in more detail on the PC Parts Picker link below, which I've compiled. From there, you can buy these parts and order them or whatever you want to do. 
So if you like this video, don't forget to like it, and of course subscribe for more content. Tell me what you think of this, and if you are going to buy it, let me know and tell me how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.